to the channel and today I will show you how to extract the monthly land surface temperature using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So in this lecture we will talk about the land surface temperature, how to extract our land surface temperature using Google Earth Engine. So basically we are going to extract the land surface temperature or LSD of uh, monthly and yearly uh, wise the land surface temperature data uh, using our Google Earth Engine. So we would like to extract our monthly time series data for land surface temperature using our region of interest and using our uh, modus uh, image uh, modus image. So from modus image, we are specifically using our uh, modus land surface temperature to uh, extract our monthly uh, time series, monthly and yearly time series of our land surface temperature. We are specifically uh, selecting the Brazil as our study area or the region of interest, uh, region of the interest. Uh, region of uh, interest to extract our uh, data. So to define a region of interest, we need to import our country's boundary layer into Google Earth Engine. So in order to import our Earth Engine, that is our country's layer into Earth Engine, we have defined a variable called countries equals to w dot feature collection, and this is our uh, country's data. So using this code, we can able to import our country's data into Earth Engine. This is the United States of Department of State large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017. So we are specifically using this code in order to import our country's boundary into Earth Engine. So to next, to uh, specifically uh, select our study area from our uh, international boundary polygon, that is world level uh, country boundary polygon, we are specifically selecting our study area or st region of interest, that is the Brazil. So to select the Brazil as our region of interest, we defined a variable called Brazil equals to countries dot filter Double dot filter dot eq so country uh, referring to country boundary and output as our brazil that is our study area so next is we are uh, adding our layer that is map dot add layer the brazil here refers to our variable brazil and the curly bracket here refers to a default visualization parameter and output as our brazil so to in order to center our uh, study area or region of interest that is our brazil I have defined a map dot center object brazil. So, so to extract our monthly uh, time series of land surface temperature, the land surface temperature, we first need to specify the image. Uh, we need to uh, import our modis image into Earth Engine. So, in order to uh, import our modis image into Earth Engine, I have specified a variable called modis equals to double e dot image collection, and this specific code refers to our modis image. So this particular specific script or the mode, uh, the code that refers to our uh, modus image we are importing and uh, using our defining a variable called a variable called modus. And we are specifically uh, selecting our LST, daytime uh, LST, that is land surface temperature, daytime. Uh, and we are filtering by using our, uh, uh, that is our temporal filter. We are specifically filtering out the LST for from the modus image from 2012 to 2016 that is 2012 january 1 1 to 2016 december 31st and filtering using filtering with our study area that is we have described here that is variable uh, brazil we have specifically defined the origin of interest of our brazil and uh, filtered by dot filter bound brazil so this is our study area or the region of interest where we want to extract our land surface temperature and this LST image that comes generally in the raw format. So the LST data is actually in raw, in raw format. It is not in uh, degree uh, degree such as format. So basically, uh, we have to convert the raw format into uh, so it is in a raw format. So basically, we have to convert it into a degree such as format. So this is a function that we use to convert our raw raw format into our uh, degree such as format. So using this function, we're converting our raw data into a degree Celsius. So we have defined a variable called LST uh, resampling equals to function image. The image refers to our uh, modus image. So to convert from uh, Calvin, so that is from a raw format to a degree Celsius format, we defined a variable called LST, LST temperature equals to image and dot to for converting image to a float and multiplying by 0 0.02 and subtracting 273.15 Kelvin. So that is 273.15 refers to our 273.15 Kelvin. So 
basically what the what is doing is is converting our kelvin uh, into a degree celsius format so this specific code that converts our a kelvin to a degree celsius or the raw format to a, a degree celsius format so in the next is we are defined image equals to the image equal to image dot advance lst temperature so in order to add our changed uh, changed value the changed uh, image that is we are converted the converting our raw format to a degree celsius format in order to add this particular change to our existing image we are defining a image image that is referring to our modus so image equal to image dot add band lst temperature this lst temperature refers to our this one lst temperature this variable lst temperature that converts our raw uh, into a degree celsius format and last we define return image so basically we have done this we have uh, imported our uh, modus image into uh, earth engine and converted that raw data that is raw data to a degree celsius or by converting a kelvin the raw Kelvin data into a degree Celsius format using this function. So next is we define a variable called LST new equals to modis dot map LST resampled. So resample here refers to this one. That is our uh, this variable we are referring the variable LST resample. So we are here calling a map algorithm. So to apply our LST resampling to our image collection, that is our modis image, we are applying our basically applying our uh, um, LST resampling to our image. So basically our image collection has been uh, resampled or rescaled using applying our uh, LST resampling that is we apply here that is draw to a degree searches and we apply to our modus. So this specific code that converts that is uh, applies uh, changes that is uh, we are resampled uh, resampled our uh, our LST uh, to and apply to our image collection. So basically we are converting a uh, converted our raw to a degree searches format and applying to our existing image. That is our uh, modus image collection. So next we have defined a variable called modus equals to LST new. LST new refers to this image. So here, here we have uh, resampled that is our resampled uh, converting our resampled thing and uh, converted resample the uh, image we are just applying to our modus image so in this code so we are referring this uh, lst new dot select we are selecting lst day one kilometer that is a lst uh, lst band so one kilometer and we are using a uh, one kilometer underscore one because it is a resampled uh, resampled one previously it was we have selected lst a day one kilometer band that is a raw band that is a raw and after applying a resample, I've just uh, indicated uh, using underscore one. So basically, we are using this particular script. So basically, we're using this particular script in order to use our degrees, uh, the converted or rescaled uh, uh, degree Celsius, uh, degree Celsius uh, rescaled uh, re value. So in order to uh, obtain our monthly and year to extract our monthly and yearly LST data. So from this uh, this specific code, we want to uh, we are in this specific code we are using uh, because we want to extract our uh, month monthly and yearly uh, LST data from our system time start from uh, system uh, time start data. So for each image collection, so generally uh, a image LST image is it is uh, generally it is it is uh, takes uh, it is in the form of uh, it is in the format of time start. So in order to convert it to a convert from a time start to a monthly calendar uh, day, month and year, we are specifying this function. That is, we are using map dot map function img refers to our modus image. So we are saying that uh, generally the the data is in this time start for uh, time start format. So to convert it from the from uh, from to a calendar's uh, calendar's date. Uh, month and year we are specifically using this function so the image gets converted from the time for time start uh, to uh, calendar wise date month and year so for that we have specified a variable called uh, d refers to day equals to double e date uh, date double e dot number img the dot get so system start time refers to its default uh, format of the uh, image 
So we are using this code. We are converting from a default start uh, time format to to a calendar wise that is from day, month, and year. So to uh, for a refer a month, we define a variable m equals to double e number d dot get month refers to month. And similarly for variable y, we are referring to year and written uh, image as month and year. So basically, we are using is uh, we converting our the time start uh, time start format of the image to a calendar wise date month and year. The next is uh, we defined a variable called months. So to generate a month and year, for generate a month and year, uh, we have uh, referred that we are specifying the list. So for variable month, we are uh, listing from uh, January to December, and also we have defined a variable called years to list the number of years from starting from 2012 to 2016. So we are listing it uh, from the from its temporal uh, variation that is from temporal sequence from the 2012 to 2016 for variable years and for month we are listing from the list sequence will be in from January to December. So we are decide, defined here that is from 2012 to 2016 and from January to uh, December. So we have just listed the uh, list uh, sequence in a sequence from uh, the January to December and for the year we are listed from 2012 to 2016. So once we have converted our uh, system start time from uh, day, month and year, uh, we want to work, uh, make a summary of the that is a land surface temperature in uh, year and month, year and month. That is, uh, we have to uh, convert from that uh, the year and uh, year and month in mean the mean for mean land surface temperature in that particular year and mean land surface temperature in that particular month. So to calculate a summary or a mean of uh, mean land surface temperature for that year and month, we have defined a variable called by year month equals to double dot image collection. It refers to our modus image that is uh, here this one our modus image collection dot from dot refers to from images that is our image uh, collection and we are specifically using a years dot map function referring to y so the years refers to y and uh, another way another way defined return months dot map function uh, function m that refers to our month so we want a summary of this uh, lst uh, in monthly that is uh, the yearly wise as well as for monthly wise monthly wise land surface temperature or the mean value a summary or a mean value for uh, yearly wise or monthly wise so for that i have specified dot select lst day one kilometer underscore one that refers to our resampled one resample lst data and dot mean the mean refers to that so it calculates the mean value that is the mean value of that lst of that particular year and also the mean value of that particular month so it calculates the mean all it gives us a mean of year as well as month of lst so we are using this uh, this code specifically to convert our lst uh, the mean value of lst for monthly and yearly wise and next is the projection. So this is our projection parameter. So this line of code is, uh, is used to get a projection information. The projection information of the data. That is our uh, modus data, modus. So now we have uh, the monthly and yearly uh, data of plants of its temperature. And now we want to uh, do is to extract extract that using a, a region of interest so our uh, so our region of interest is uh, that is as specified here brazil so brazil is our region of interest so using the study area we could like to ex uh, extract our the the day uh, the monthly and yearly uh, dance surface temperature so once we have our study area we can extract our time series data by specifying the date and uh, specifying our date, month, and yearly. Yearly data. 
the next is uh next is this. basically this is a function let me uh, show you so basically this is a function that uh, extracts our time series uh, time series and attach our date and month and yearly to that data and next is we having our return image dot reduce region so the reduce region will uh, use this so we'll use the region uh, brazil brazil but the summary will have a date month and uh, year and uh, the 250 here refers to a spatial resolution the spatial resolution is 250 meters uh, 250 meters and uh, this refers to our projection details our projection uh, information that refers to here our uh, projection details of our uh, mode is image so technically we're using the score to extract our monthly time series uh, data for our land surface temperature for monthly and yearly wise so we are using to extract the time series data for uh, monthly and yearly wise the next is we are how to export our land surface temperature as a csv file format and we can able to open it uh, we can able to export to our google drive and uh, it will be open in our excel format that is our csv file format so to extract our land surface temperature to a csv file format we have a spell define this function that is export dot table for lsd brazil and it refers to referring to LSD Brazil and with a file format of CSV file format, CSV file format. And we are printing our uh, exported LSD Brazil and uh, that is LSD. So now uh, let me run this. So go to the option called run script. Click run script. Wait for some time. So we can able to see that in the console section. So now we can able to see that in console section we have our by year month. So we have our properties. So we have our, our date, date of the image. It will be in this format. So date will be specified as this, and month will be in uh, as one refers. So date specified will be uh, in this, and month is specified as one. That is refers to January. And the year it is 2012. So let me go to the task section. So now we can able to see that this is our LST Brazil. So this is our let me run this. Now one window will pop up. So we can able to this is our export window. So we are exporting to our drive. So let me drive folder. So you can able to create your own drive folder by by specifying your name of the folder and the file name will be uh, let me uh, lst that is land surface temperature and file for file format is in csv file format i'll click run so now we can able to view that our uh, conversion from we are exporting to a csv file file format it is running here in the task section of the earth engine so now we can able to see that in the task section that is our LSD Brazil uh, CSV file is exported to our Google Drive. Now make sure that you check your Google Drive for the CSV file. So in this video I have shown you how to extract the monthly land surface temperature using Earth Engine from our Modus data and uh, how to import our country's data and finally how to export our LST uh, data as a CSV file format. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you give us a like.